Okay, so to match that PVP seam with the aluminium fence, we need to open ICM CFD, and that is I'm not doing in workbench. You just need to search in your uh, search bar, just ICM CFD, and you can find this file, this application, and you can open this one. And the geometry I have converted the geometry into step file, so. You just need to import the step file to do that go to file import geometry legacy and this step and igs file just search your file at step file yes. and we can open this file so this is the geometry file in the geometry tree if I open like it can enable the points and surfaces and, this. and in the part actually we have different different parts but they are not named properly so that is we need to do so that we can give proper boundary condition in solver to do that we need to right click here and create a part and I'll start with the top surface so I think that is glass top wall and I'm gonna select this so this is my glass top wall I can disable this one and these will be our glass side walls the space here is very less so somehow able to select the curves also so I'm going to disable these curves and points so that it should not select the curves and points so only surface should be selected <coughs> so these are my glass side walls In the same way we have to name the other surfaces but right now here we have two surfaces that I'm going to delete one surface I have delete and one is just overlapping it so I deleted it actually we need only one surface here and uh, in the solver it is going to automatically create two surfaces with the name of shadow so we don't need actually two surfaces to mesh only one surface is required so in the same way let us create so I think this is EVA EVA top wall I will disable this and the sides will be EVA side wall so these surfaces are EVA top and side wall so as you can see here the surfaces are overlapping and that is because of the CAD geometry is created in such a way so I'm just cleaning up some geometry so this surface I have deleted so only one surface is required and this surface is actually a silicone top wall I can name it as uh, silicone top wall this and I will disable this one so I can see under it and these will be our silicon side walls and disable this one also so similarly you can see there is a overlapping surface here again so one of the surface need to be deleted and this is I can this I can name as EV A and put two here this one is EV wall and this will be its side wall
JPT surfaces also and again we have this overlapping surface so one of the surface need to be deleted here this one so after the EVA we have TED left so TED left top one this one and okay next side walls also so before that I will disable the top one so I can see properly <coughs> okay. so these two side walls and same with this side these two side walls so this also I will disable and aluminium top wall before that I will delete this extra surface here and yeah now I can see it aluminium top wall and these will be the side walls these so we have this overlapping surfaces and these are actually confusing so I will disable one of the parts from here and that is this part 1 so this I will disable now I can easily name so actually these are the PCM top wall so I will name them as PCM Top wall, this is this. Disable this, and these are my aluminium fills. Fence, so so all these surfaces are my aluminium fins. We'll disable this, and the part that I disabled, I will enable again. So here I have all those surfaces which were extra and overlapping so I can delete them now freely like this. So here I can name this as uh, PCM sidewall. disable these and now I have these extra pin uh, tape surfaces that were supposed to be deleted so all these surfaces I will delete so now I have only these part names which only collect the curves so you can see if I disable them they only contain the curves and points so all these uh, parts are not required because taking like confusing so I'm gonna create a part name which named as curves and I'm gonna put curves and points in them so all these curves and points so the name will uh, those collectors will automatically disappear so now the CAD cleanup is done and part naming is also done so I can save my geometry so I will just directly save the project so just choose the directory where you can save it project one I have saved it so now I can start meshing my geometry so to do the meshing actually here we use for the hexa mesh we use the blocking the so blocking is nothing but a volume you can say it's kind of a volume which is enclosing the whole geometry so I will create a block and the part name here the block name is let it be default solid and disable the initialize setting and apply so if I disable curves points and surfaces you can see this is a single block but we don't have a single volume here we have like five six volumes here uh, aluminium 
eva silicon and all but we have one here so what we need to do is we need to dis uh, separate this whole one solid uh, volume into different uh, volumes so to do that we need to go into split blocking and here we need to split so this first option is only the split block can come here and the method I'm changing it to point subscribe because we have proper points here from that we can change it so let's select this edge in this point and this one this one also so for now I'm leaving this fence we'll capture them later but first let us capture all the PV cells PV volumes so and yeah it's better if we give the distribution now only so that you don't have to worry about distribution later so to do that you need to go to pre mesh parameters go to edge parameters and select this and to save our time I'm gonna copy the parameters so that it can copy the same parameter to the parallel edges and here I can give different number of nodes so here 50 and also I'll get 50 and in this direction y direction this side so here let's go 20 here let's go 20 get 3 so distribution will check later now first I should create the blocks so I can show you the blocks if I enable the blocks so these are the different different blocks which are separated as we separated with respect to points so we need to name them because all the blocks are of different names like volumes so the same way right click on part and let us create volume glass and for that I need to select the blocks so this particular block is representing glass and then EVA this is EVA and this is also EVA then we have silicon so this is silicon We have aluminium. So this particular thing is PCM, but I'm not naming it PCM right now because in between we have this uh, fence also that needs to be separate first. So I'm leaving it for later. So first, let us split the blocks with respect to these points. So again, I'm gonna for again point prescribed split so with respect to these points I'm gonna split like here this for each point on these two points and distributions we have already given in the x direction the direction now I can enable the blocks <coughs> mm, yeah so instead of creating another part I'm adding them to volume aluminium only so add to part so these blocks are my aluminium again this and this you can see these are the aluminium now and now we can check the pre mesh 
so I will return I will disable the blocks and make it I think yeah we here we need to give distribution Check here the distribution to give four only and disable the premesh. Distribution is completed and you can check the pre mesh. So pre mesh looks to be okay and we can check the we can check all the surfaces. So glass top wall. EVA top wall, silicon top wall, EVA 2 top wall, and then I think we have Tedler, then Aluminium, PCM, yeah, so underneath you can see all the fins are also captured properly and these are the side walls mm. ok dismiss we'll enable all the parts and we can check for the quality and I'm checking for determinant 3 by 3 and we are getting one determinant which is almost perfect and so that is for the machine